Some people say that, you know, climate is always changing. And it's, it's hard to know what to really to say about that. I guess they mean that there's, we never have a stable climate, which is certainly not true. Or do they mean that uh, our history has been a series, like pearls on a string of climate change, climate change? Well, I suppose that's, that's true. Uh, this, this period of climate change is especially rapid, and we know the cause. And the question isn't so much as, will, will climate change come to an end? Yeah, if we do nothing, climate change will eventually fall back into a climate equilibrium like the next pearl. But there's no guarantee that the next pearl we encounter is going to be livable. I mean, you know, Venus is not undergoing climate change. Venus has a, cli a stable climate. And yet, uh, no one would like to live on Venus. The notion of climate equilibrium is important. The amount of energy delivered by the sun is radiated away into the into outer space. That's what equi equilibrium means. That's not a climate change situation. There's no energy to power climate change. But when the when say the Earth is not able to radiate that same amount of energy away because of CO2, additional CO2 blocking the radiation, then the heat begins to build up in the Earth, and so the Earth warms up. So the Earth warms up when it's not able to radiate away as much energy as it's receiving from the sun. And you'd think that would just go on and on and on, but the uh, limiting factor is uh, related to something like a pie that your mom makes and puts on the shelf, and the pie is hot, you can, you can sense the radiation by putting your hand near to it, and it cools off, you, you can't feel that same radiation. And the principle is that a warmer body radiates away more than a cooler body. So as the Earth heats up, it radiates away more, till finally it radiates away the same amount as the sun is depositing, and then you're back in, in thermal equilibrium again. You're in equilibrium at a hotter, hotter temperature. So that's, that's the basic mechanism of climate change right there. There's one little uh, exception, and that is uh, not, uh, not exactly the same amount of heat has to be radiated away from the Earth as the sun supplies. All that has to happen as the, as the amount that's radiated away plus the amount that's hidden on the Earth, sequestered on the Earth, that sum has to equal what the sun supplies. So, for example, if the sun melts ice, that heat, you know, will heat zero degree ice into zero degree water so that the heat is gone. So that allows you to uh, achieve an equilibrium somewhat lower than the natural equilibrium temperature of the Earth. But that only works as long as the, uh, as the glaciers exist. And as people have noted, glaciers are disappearing uh, all the time. Glacier National Park is just a shadow of what it used to be. So that's, that's the climate change in a nutshell and uh, a little bit of a peek at the future. But if we're going to look into the future, Let's not take our eyes away. Let's not avert our gaze. When the ice caps have melted, when all the ice at the North and South Pole has ceased to cool down the Earth, then a new series of heatings will take place, and it will take place on an Earth where that water has all flooded into the ocean, raise the ocean levels in New York City, in the Mekong Delta, at Hawaii, where all the refugees are climbing up Mount Loa, desperately trying to get to the empty vending machines. This is what I see if you don't change your ways.